Hey guys, it's Nordia and welcome back to my channel. And today's video is the first video of Vlogmas. Now, I would like to say I'm going to do all 24 days, but I am working um, during some of those days. So I'm trying to put out as many videos as possible. So that's what's going to happen. So today's video is like story time, decorate my Christmas tree. I live in a condo, so um, not a lot of space, um, but just enough. Uh, so I didn't want something big, I don't have children, and my nieces aren't gonna be here for Christmas, so they won't be over, but I'm gonna decorate this Christmas tree. But before I do that, I got an advent calendar from Nespresso. You guys know I love my coffee. And a little while back I got a Nespresso machine. And yeah, so I decided to get one, an advent calendar from Nespresso because I'm like, that just makes sense for me. I looked into other things like Sephora and there's just a lot of useless things that I don't need the clutter. Um, I got a bag of stuff. I actually don't think it's enough um here so we'll see so if this is your first time here hit that subscribe button and yeah join the family so i'm not even sure how this works guys like i'm gonna try to get all the way out oh okay it's like almost like a rubik's cube i don't know if you guys can see me good i'm backing up so y'all can see me um Oh, well, this is neat. Oh, wow, okay. So this is how it kind of like forms this, I don't know, like ladder, almost like situation. And I don't know where it starts because I don't even see number one. Uh... It has to be around because this is two. And Christmas is a really big one. Um, oh, one starts right here on top. So um, since this is the first video of Vlogmas, I'm going to open number one. So let's see what's in here. So just opened it up. And it is a Colombian coffee. It's a 230 ml, so this is like a full cup, um, which is great. So, love that. So that's the first one, guys. Um, if when I make the next video, I'm days behind, I'll open up the, the boxes accordingly or each day accordingly. Okay, so let's get the tree open and get started. Oh my. All right, so I brought a knife here. So, try to get this open. It's a pre-lit tree, so um, that just won't be good for my life <laughs> because I'm like, I really don't know how to, you know, or whatever and it should be pretty easy to put together all right um, you guys might not be able to see this because the camera's kind of up high um, as I'm putting it down but once I get it together so first piece story time so this, this story time is about me getting my Jamaican passport. So, um, obviously when you're a kid, your parents get your passport for you. Um, these are just extra lights that came in the box and these are the feet. So, uh, obviously my dad and mom got us our, my sister and I, our passports when we were younger which was great, thank them. And then um, we used that to basically, I should really be 
following the instructions maybe see how the hell this goes because it has to go up the whole way um yeah so um moving to canada we did need to get our passport our jamaican passport renewed because you know we've had it it was a 10-year passport they don't give 10-year passports to children anymore um but yeah so uh we didn't need it we became a canadian citizen but during that process our mom had to get our birth certificate and um so she got one of our relatives in jamaica to do so in doing so there was a printing error which we did not know uh now that i'm an adult and went to jamaica to renew my passport um that's when an issue showed up so like oh my hat fell off you guys i'm trying to stay festive throughout this video um while roasting so yeah the there was a there's a printing error but like it's not one that would have been obvious because uh, like we did not know um it was something that was pointed out when they were trying to like basically verify who I am with the birth records. Jamaica has like everything on paper. It's wild. Um, so they go to like, they have somebody go pull your birth records from like this file system. It is very insane. Um, I'm still like shocked by how that process is done. Um, can this come off? Um, so anyways, they said, you know, basically the number didn't match and they're thinking like, oh, I may have stolen this girl's identity. Luckily, my twin sister, she's there and her papers are right. And another key thing that was missing was that the fact that it said um, she was second born of twins. Now, mine didn't even mention twins at all. Who knew that that was vital information? I don't know. I think my mom had a copy though where it did say that. I do like vaguely remember, but however, that information was in Canada. So, I'm like, okay, well I cannot get this like sorted. And then I'm like, well, here's my sister. Here's the fact, like, you know, I have a Canadian passport. Obviously I am who I say I am, like, you can't fake having a twin and the twin is right here looking exactly like you. Nonetheless, these people were like, not caring what I had to say basically. So in Jamaica, everything's about money. It's sad to say, but everything is money talks. So they're like, you need to go to Spanish town. We were like 30 minutes from Spanish town and it was gonna close. We already spent like eight or so hours in the passport office because we wanted a same day passport. We had to do so much stuff. We had to file a police report. We had to like, you know, get uh, JP, retake our passport pictures because they have the option to take it here in Canada. Don't do that. We did it at Shoppers Drug Mart. They do not have the right size guys. Take my word for it don't do it um so that happened and then afterwards so we had to drive to spanish town super fast was there for hours um but they were sorting it out i had to pay for a a new birth certificate had to get one for my sister but what was cool about this was that i got to see like I think it was my dad, but it could have been my mom because the writing kind of looks like my mom's writing. Um, uh, I got to see the original writing of them filling it out, like with my birthday. It was actually really cool um, that I got to see that. Um, since my dad's not alive anymore, like having, I got to take a picture of that document. So having the ability to see that was actually really, really cool. Um, so then, yeah, that costs like, eight thousand which is just like eighty dollars canadian and i know that doesn't sound like a lot but for a piece of paper it's wild then i had to pay for a reg like a letter saying that i went to the registry and i got this and that the the other 
basically birth certificate that I had did have a printing error. A printing error, you hear me? A printing error, meaning not my fault. Uh, but welcome to Jamaica, they don't care. Okay, so these are the balls that I got. Guys, I wanted a frosted tree, but they were basically, tree was very scarce. I don't know what was going on. I got my tree from Michael's. Back to the story. So, yeah, even though it was a printing error and it wasn't my fault, I had to still pay for the printing error like that occurred. So yeah, $8,000, got it. I also got one for my sister, um, a new like copy because they do fake because Jamaica uses like paper. Like this, it's, it's like, I don't know, it's a special type of paper. Anywho, so got that and um, yeah, then I went back to the past, the passport office closed that day, so I had to go back the next day, early in the morning, okay? Another however long. Um, saw these people, they looked at it, and I was able to pay $320 Canadian dollars for Jamaican passport. Now, some of you might be wondering, why? But, I'll get to that. So $320 same day passport, gave them everything. You know what, they end up not needing the registry letter which pissed me off because that costs money. Um, but yeah, so got that and it took another like eight or so hours. My sister was able to get hers, like, like she didn't have the same amount of issues. There were some things that were the same, but yeah, basically, the gist of the story is they thought I was stealing, you know, someone's identity, which I wasn't, um, and without saying it, they didn't accuse me of anything, but, like, just the implication, like, how I felt, um, like, yeah, and they move so slow in Jamaica, if you learn anything, it's like, Island time is a real thing. They don't care about time. They don't care if you're in a rush. None of that matters. They'll work as fast as they feel like. And like a lot of these cases needed a rush because I'm not in Jamaica forever when I'm there. Um, so it was very annoying. Um, and ultimately we got it done, but it literally took two days and a lot of money. Overall, I spent $400 for my Jamaican passport, which lasts for 10 years. I do not plan on switching my last name anytime soon, even if I was to be married, because that was an unbelievable experience that I do not want to duplicate. So, yeah, that is the story, but... I wanted my Jamaican passport renewed because, you know, I am Jamaican and I encounter a little bit of issues when I go there. Um, you can, if you're going to do like um, touristy stuff, it can be a little complicated because they can be like, um, they'll charge you more if you're not a resident. Okay, so I want to apologize if some of this video is blurry, guys. I'm not wearing my glasses and I'm also not wearing contacts um because when i'm home i tend not to wear my glasses like right now i really should be wearing them so that um if i look back at the camera i can see if the footage is good but anyways this is a tree um and we're about to put the balls on um so i don't know if it's been like too long since I've, uh, you know, done a Christmas tree, but the, the little hooky thing is they don't come on the tree anymore. It's like that. Like, is that new? Like, like, I don't know. I don't know. So I had to buy the hooky things. I don't know what they're called. What are they called? Ornament hooks. So I was on the right track. Um, so like the balls came without anything. I only got 10. You guys, Michael, the one by my house, like this neighborhood is so self-sufficient, like everything's around. So 
which I love. Like in the future, like when I'm living in America, I don't want to live in a neighborhood that's not self-sufficient. Anyways, so yeah, I had to buy the hook separate. They weren't expensive, but I thought like, aren't they supposed to come with it? Now, when you decorate a tree, I don't know where to start. Like my mother would pretty much decorate the tree and then like we'd go there and like add some things, but for the most part she did it. So I don't know what the rules are and I don't have a lot of balls. I think um, I'm gonna go to the store a little bit later. Um, so, and try to do that. Look guys, I got a special one. It's the letter N, cause you know my name starts with an N. And like that is so rare to find like decorations with like N's or things like just things that are like monogram with the letter N like I love my name so It's actually pretty dark here. It's like four. Um, it looks better in person. I don't think it's coming through really well, but it actually looks pretty good and it doesn't have a lot of dirt decorations on it, but I'm happy with the results. Um, I'm just gonna stick my little hat on there for now until I find like a star or something. Um, but yeah, this is the Christmas tree. Um, perfect little size. I'm gonna probably take some pictures so y'all can see um, a better version of it. But yes, the tree. I think I did pretty good. Um, it's not. It's not my first time decorating a tree, but it's like I don't really know the rules, and also I didn't have a lot of supplies because you know the store. But also I don't want a lot of work to do when I take it down. So the Christmas tree is up, guys, and it looks. I think nice um, and thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate you all so much subscribe subscribe there's gonna be a lot of videos I know I'm supposed to post a clothing video but I haven't recorded it so I'm probably gonna like group it together with like you know all the Black Friday and everything just like products I bought recently uh, ordered some pots from always and I can't wait to do a review on that I can't wait to like cook in them I'm when I make food for everyone and at this dinner party I'm gonna have um, yeah I'm looking forward to, to forward to that um, because I need good pots like I have like the instant pot which I do when I'm I use more like a pressure cooker like if you're Jamaican you get it um, for like peas oxtail and goat which is great it's wonderful and then i have like the dutch pot which i use for like frying chicken but like for like a small soup or something or like a wok i don't really have like a proper one and yeah it was expensive i'll when i get it i'll do a review so again thank you so much for watching bye